Hi, in this short video I'm going to demonstrate how to make an LED fitting. Now this fitting that I have was actually for a fluorescent light and it has the uh, relevant uh, space for the starters and so on. Now I have already removed the starter and the regulators and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this fitting an LED fitting. Now what I did is I have already purchased these single uh, fittings. Now you could use the double but in this uh, example I'm just, I just want a single LED light. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally stripping the unit and I'm just going to wire it up. So this video in a nutshell is just going to show you how to wire an LED light fitting. Simple as that, using a, an original fluorescent fitting. So what I do is I'm just going to take out all the parts that I don't need. There we go. So now I just have the housing itself, as you can see. There's nothing in here. So for LED, it uses directly 220 volts or whatever your voltage is in your country. And it's very important that when you do make a conversion that you state it. Now, sometimes when you buy an LED globe, you'll actually get a sticker here saying no fluorescent tubes because they'll pop if you connect them directly without a regulator and the capacitor. So what we, in a nutshell, what we need to do is connect these two uh, uh, fittings and you get a terminal block. So I'm going to have a three-way terminal block like that and that's connected to the power. So if, you, if I had to explain to you the uh, wiring, the live will go there. Sorry, the live will go there. Out from the live will be wired to one side of the LED fitting. The neutral from the supply will go there and another side will go into the um, opposite side of the fitting. Now for LED tubes you only need power on one side of the, the uh, tube. For example, here I have an Osram globe and you will see that only one side is actually requiring power. The other side is actually just a dummy. So we only need to wire the uh, supply to the one fitting. So that's why this is actually going to be really quick. Now because of these um, fittings, you need to use a solid wire. For example, the wire that I just removed, if you look at it, it's solid. And the reason why we use it is because when you put it in the fitting, it just slots in. And when you pull it back, it actually gets wedged by a a uh, flap of the copper that actually wedges closed. So I recommend using solid cable and not uh, stranded. So what I've got, I've got, I've got some cable here. So you can either use the one that you've just uh, stripped, which maybe is a good idea. I'll probably just use these ones that I've just removed. Ah, so I'm just going to use this. And the yellow. There we go. Strip there. This I've labeled this as 220, so I know. I'm going to make the yellow the live. I'm going to put it in here. There we go. And the white goes on the other side, so it's going to be the neutral. Now you can see it's actually tight in there now. It's actually been wedged. We put it underneath while we can. Just put that in like that. 
There we go. Now we just thread this wire inside. Okay, so now I've just uh, connected it on this side because it's actually closer to the place where I'm going to get my supply. I'm just threading this underneath here and here. Now you can see there's a, uh, I'm going to make a hole there, as you can see I've just pressed it in. So the, when you screw this onto your ceiling, uh, your supply wires must come through there, and there they come, come through. And now you will just join this to the terminal block, just strip them. Okay, so now we're going to connect it to a terminal block, you can use a 5 amp because the amperage of the LED is actually very low or you can use a bigger one. I'm going to use a bigger one because in my ceiling the wires are very thick so I'm going to battle if I use this little one so I'm just showing you that you do not actually have to use a 16 amp as I'm doing now you only really need to use a 5 amp okay I'm just opening these up now the white one I'm going to put there Yes, and this one I'm going to put there. The way I do it is I make it long enough to actually go through both sides so that when I do tighten the uh, wire on the other side, it actually is touching the uh, uh, wire that's on the opposite side. There we go. And the middle one is for the earth. Now I am in my case I'm going to split these like so. And this one I'm going to connect it. If you look in there you'll see there's a lip and this is for the earth. So what you do is you put that in there like that and you tighten it so that's the earth so the earth coming from your ceiling will then attach to well you'll screw it into here so that it, it makes this whole chassis earth now what you do is the dummy side you just install it as you can see like that and that's it Oh, whoops. This one should not have come out. Right, and that's it. So now, uh, if you really want to be uh, accurate, what you could do is you put a fuse in line with this and you could put a fuse in line here. Some people sell the uh, LED fitting with a fuse which looks like the starter but it's actually just a fuse. Just in case somebody installs the wrong globe. Now all you need to do is go and install it. And that is how I wired an LED uh, a once fluorescent fitting into an LED. Because this side is to recap, this side is a dummy side, no wiring required. This side is the side where I'm going to connect the LED. It's very important to make sure the polarity is correct. I probably forgot to mention that. That when you do get your LED globe, you'll see that the one side is has a polarity. One side has a polarity, there it is, neutral and live. So when you do choose your uh, polarity, you must make sure that 
you do it correctly, as you can see, when it's in here, the live, and remember I chose yellow as my live, so the live is on that side, the neutral is on that side, as you can see. And then lastly, if you want to be very specific, here's the sticker. This fitting has been uh, adapted for use with LED tubes. So what happens is you'll stick this on your unit to warn somebody that they must not uh, put fluorescent tube in here. Then when you go to your ceiling, you'll connect this to your live, that to your neutral, and that to the earth. And that's it. That's how you wire a LED. So uh, in the bottom line is that it's live neutral, live neutral. LED is connecting, the LED tube connects directly to the power it has its own step down circuit and that's the beauty of doing the LED. Just to demonstrate the finished product you can see that I've wired it straight to the supply. I've threaded the supply through the opening there. The earth is connected straight to the chassis onto the terminal block. Um, you can see that side. Now I'm going to close the unit and install the fluorescent, I mean the LED tube. Right, there's the complete unit. It's a single unit LED and there it's switched on. Okay, thanks for watching.